Hello everyone, uh, I've been doing some electronics projects recently and I was on the hunt for an adjustable power supply. Many I found on the internet were way too big, too expensive and didn't have the most appealing designs. Uh, that's when I found this cheap little module on AliExpress that required a separate case to actually work. Many people had already done projects with this and made some cool 3D printable designs. I thought about just 3D printing one of these pre-made designs. But I couldn't really find one that I really liked. I wanted something that was both slim and had an adjustable viewing angle of the screen. When I looked around a bit, I found these old oscilloscopes that use a handle to adjust the viewing angle of the screen. I thought this was a good solution to the problem and decided to incorporate it into my design. So I drew some sketches on my tablet of what I wanted. I also drew some inspiration from my old flip clock and added these ridges for visual flair. When I was happy with the design, I started drawing it in CAD. It consisted of five parts, the main body, the foot as I call it, a couple of knobs and a backplate. Now this was looking kinda good. I printed up the parts, the small parts I did on my Ender 3 while the main body I printed at school. The reason why this module was so much smaller in the first place was because it required an external power supply. This is different from those laboratory grade adjustable power supplies which have an internal PSU. This module requires something like a laptop charger. I accounted for this in my design by making space for a USB-C power delivery board. This meant I could use my laptop charger to power the whole thing. These boards take USB-C input and can output up to 20 volts. Now, wiring one up requires a bit of soldering, but after that it's as easy as connecting it to the screw terminals on the module. Now, for the foot to be adjustable, I needed a couple of bolts to act as hinges. These bolts I could screw into the knobs by some using some printed inserts. I had a bit of trouble getting these inserts to sit well in such small parts, but it turned out fine in the end. Since the bolts were acting like hinges, that means they would eventually loosen themselves. To prevent this, I added a bit of super glue into the threaded inserts before screwing the bolts on. But in the end, this foot worked surprisingly well. I had added this little ledge so the feet could not go above a 45 degree angle, which also worked perfectly. Now for making the output, I added some banana plugs so I could connect various accessories like alligator clips. Now after connecting everything to the module, we can click it in and it makes a nice snap. Then the USB-C port is put into the backplate, which gets screwed on with some threaded inserts. And that's actually it. Connecting it to USB-C, we watch the screen turn on. We can then adjust the voltage, the amperage, and make it output whatever we want under 20 volts. Here I tried to connect some LED strips and output 12 volts to make it light up. I also tried connecting it to a fan. Everything works as expected. Now this was a pretty simple project. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was kind of a fun design challenge since most of the electronics had already been done before and all the parts I used were very, very standard. But I'm very happy with the design I eventually came up with. This thing is very easy to put in a door or put it in my backpack for on-the-go projects. Yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.